Hey everybody, doing a review on the, what I have said, the SH Monster at Skadzilla 2014 figure. I'm trying to keep my stand straight. Now before we end the figure, let's review the box. Now the box is basic, like, I know I said, um, the SH Monster has been doing like this claw slashes, which is pretty neat. Um, you got a picture of the figure right there. Um, you know, just basic stuff. Another picture of the figure right there. That's all 2014. I'm trying to put this on the camera. And just variety of poses you can put them in. So that's pretty interesting. Let's get down the way and it's the end of the figure. Now there are no accessories, but my opinion, you don't need any accessories. Just, I don't, I think, um, you just need the figure, even though, um, an accessory would be nice, but... Oh well, but um, anyways, um, first I want to talk about the sculpt. Now, the sculpt is very nicely done, the spikes are well done, um, just the texture, the feel of the sculpt, um, it's just really nice, um, just, oh uh, no, his feet and face are different looking from the movie, but, Really, that does not exactly bug me, because it's fine on its own. So, let's sculpt. The paint, I don't see anything wrong with it. I mean, this was what he was basically like in the movie. Um, you know, he had, like, that tannish color here. Um. He, um. Yeah, that's just, like, not too much to talk about the paint job. I'm just, you know, like charcoal black or, or dark gray, whenever you refer to. And, you know, paint in the mouth. I haven't articulated this tongue yet because I don't think I need to. Um, he painted his toes, which, I mean, just because they're custom feet and makes them look nice. So, yeah, and the articulation, um, he has got a bunch. His mouth opens about flat wide, a lot wider than the NECA version. I'll get the NECA out later to compare him to. But, um, he moves at the mouth. Like he said, he's got tongue rotation, but I don't exactly care about that too much. I might, um, you know, that's not Um, but I will say the teeth are a little bad looking, but I mean, in person, it's not as bad as you would see in camera, or maybe on YouTube, um, the head, he can, um, look up about that much, which is nice, he looks down that much, and he has that extra spike there, in case you don't like gaps, he, um, has a nook joint here, I know, he, um, I haven't really been able to turn his head too much, well, that's how far I can get him for now. If I find a way, maybe to loosen it up, but I don't really expect that. Um, he moves right here at the arm, elbow bends. He has a joint here where he can turn right his forearm. He's at the wrist and doesn't move up and down, but it goes side to side. And he has a joint here at the torso, which moves that part. He has a joint here, which, you know, he can turn. Um, it doesn't really go up and down too much. And he has, um, hip joints. This is where he has gaps if you spread them out too far, but it's not like it's that big of a deal. Um, but yeah, they can spread out. He can move his leg up like that. He, has, he can turn right here a little bit, his knee. Um, bends a little bit, but not too much. He has a joint here. He has a joint here, and his foot moves up and down. And side to side, and has an ankle. Like, you can have it pivot, which is really nice. And he's even got texture on the bottom of the feet. No peg holes, but, oh well. He has a joint here. Well, this is the only scene that I have with the figure. Just this part, really, but it's not too big of a deal as some people might have it now. 
He has a joint here, 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 here. You can just see like all the lines. He is really articulating this tail. Um, now that just explains maybe how the figure mostly is. You know the detail, the sculpt, paint job. Um, they even include that little detail right here where it like attaches to his mouth. And uh, like I said, I will be comparing him to the uh, six inch Naka. Um, which, um, I will say I discovered two new joints of the NECA figure. Um, hey, let me put it mark pass on. Um, this tail here, you can bend it. It's like on a wire, but the wire's a little bit strong. And, um, his knee, I haven't seen anyone really do that. But, um, I don't know, I just wanted to say that. Now, if you asked me... If I, I compared these as soon as I got them, and, um, I like the texture more on here, but I like how this one has, is more movie accurate, but at the same time, you can still tell by looking at this one, this is 2014. But if you had asked me which one I would choose, I would go with SH Monster Arts, just because it's a more detailed figure. It's got more articulation, and to me, it's got a more of a fun factor. I just love posing this guy around, look at him in different poses. Like, I just really like this figure. Um, this is a great figure, too. If you can't afford this, go ahead and get this. Um, but if you want... Well, I have two other Godzilla figures you might have seen, that 24-inch tall Godzilla. Um, I, but if you really want to collect his item, you can either go with these two or that. I have them up on my shelf here. Um, the um twelve inch, um, twelve slash twenty four. Well, twelve inches tall. That that Godzilla and he's twenty four inches across. Either like for me, it would be if you wanted a good twenty fourteen figure. And uh, if you had to uh, come it down to either one or the other, I would say either this one, you can either get that one, or you can either get the um, bigger NECA figure. This one's a nice, and if you can't afford either of them, just get this one. This one's a nice figure, too. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it, just that's, these, to me, are nicer figures, which is why they're more expensive. But, um, but like I said, any three of them, if you have the money, um, like if you have around 50 to 70 dollars, um, you either get the SH Monster Arts or that Bayer Nugget figure, or if you don't have the money, just to get this one, maybe save up. But I'm glad I have all three of them, and I even have that Jack's Godzilla. So, to me, I have my t four favorite 2014 figures so far, and if, um, I'm not planning on getting the variant to this one just because I'm good with the original version, but if, um, I think Monster Arts re-releases him as, um, on the, um, they just change him to make him more like the movie, and then I will get that one, but to me, they don't need to. Um, but anyways, that is my review, you guys. Let me move him out of the way. Thank you guys so much for watching. I definitely, before I go, I do recommend him. I highly recommend him. He is one of the best figures I can get. Like I said, it's between him or the NECA figure. But I like him just for, like, his play factor. Um, and just, like, he's uh, different looking, but... Um, I like the NECA for being more like the movie, and he has a good size, articulation, and sound. Even though you don't need sound, but... Anyways, I... Just speaking of Les Fair, I highly recommend him. I think that he's a great addition to your collection. Um... You know, I've heard some negative things, but at the same time... Um, all those negative things I've heard about, I've kind of forgotten. I just love this figure for what it is. And what it is is just awesome. Um, but 
Anyways, that's my review, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, yes, you know, more videos coming up. I'm collecting more on St. Jemont's Stars, and um, uh, I probably will get more figures. Oh, um, if I get it, I put it on my Christmas wish list. If I get the destruction set for Search Monster Arts, I will be doing a review on that. But we'll just have to see. But, um, anyways, that is my review, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you had a happy Thanksgiving. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.